Today we are going to take a journey through the digestive system to see what happens when you eat food. Obviously, this happens every day and is important for your body to work. Bananas are one of my favorite foods. Let's see how a banana travels through my body. Right now, I'm on a mushy ride in the mouth. Chandra's saliva is mixing with me, making it me easier to swallow. Soon, Chandra will swallow me, and I will travel through the esophagus. In the esophagus, a 25-centimeter long tube, the banana, the banana that I just ate will take about 4 to 6 seconds to pass through. The muscles in the side of the tube squeeze the banana down, and the waves from the muscles, called peristalsis, move the food down the entire tract. I feel like I'm in the ocean! Off to, to that sausage-shaped thing that folds on the sides. What's that called? The bag that you were wondering about is the stomach. Inside the stomach, you will be mixed with an acidic solution that breaks down bacteria. Also, you will be covered in mucus to make you more slippery. The mucus will also protect the stomach. Well, with that being covered, I suppose I'll slip on down to the small intestine. As the time, which is a partly digested food, leaves the stomach, it enters the small intestine. It gets mixed with bile, which breaks up large fat particles. Most absorption of food is done in the small intestine. The ridges and walls of the small intestine have finger-like projections called villi. The villi make it so more nutrients have places to absorb. Now the undigested and unabsorbed stuff is slowly riding into the large intestine. to the end of this long journey. Finally, what do you think? Not quite. When the chime enters the large intestine, it is still a thin, watery mixture. The large intestine will absorb water from the undigested mixture. Time is going so slow in here. I feel as if this will never end. Maybe in another three days. Things slow down in the large intestine. The chime can stay here for as long as three days. When the extra water is absorbed, the remaining undigested rubble gets more solid. I'm beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, finally your journey is coming to a close. Muscles in the rectum and the anus, which are the last part of the large intestine, control the release of waste. When it releases its waste from the body, it is in the form of feces. Who knew it took so long for food to get digested in the digestive system? That was definitely not the greatest journey I've been on. At least now you know how the digestive system works now. Seems how there are so many parts, some problems can occur in the digestive system. Irritable bowel syndrome affects how food is moved through the large intestine and found by periodic flares, often diagnosed by bad pain and cramping. Treatment for this is difficult because no cause has been pinpointed. Some doctors tell patients to eat more fiber, anti-cramping medications, and avoid stress. Gas reflux disease occurs when a one-way valve, known as the lower esophageal sphincter, doesn't close correctly, allowing digestive juices plus stomach contents to travel up the esophagus and often causes heartburn. This mostly affects infants. Treatments for gas reflux disease are dietary changes, over-the-counter anti-acid or reflux drugs, and or prescription medication. Now you don't ever have to wonder how your body breaks down food into small molecules so they can be absorbed and move into the blood.